Let us pray to the great spirit of white light. Let us feel our inner self and relax, relax. And wash our minds and bodies of all earthly and material things. Let the spirits enter our bodies and feel the power and empty our minds of any impure thoughts. Can you feel the power? Um, uh, yes, yes, I feel it too. Now I want us to sit in peace and calm so that the others may come to us. Shuf Ghazali Shwara. Madhava Jyoti Andarayami. It's my guide. He's with us. He's here with me. But he has some friends with him. Does the name John mean anything to you? Dick? Do you know any Dicks? You must be very careful. He's asking me to tell you to take great care. Oh. Ooh, the noise. Oh, yes, my love. What? Oh, he's fading. The power is fading. Oh. This doesn't mean anything. I mean, I can't think. I'm being taken to another dimension, to another place. Someone is leading me. Oh. This is a very different young man. Oh, he's very handsome and determined. Although he's in much pain. His leg, yes, his leg. Oh. Mm. That strange, wonderful smell. Oh, like a perfume. And there's an animal, like a dog, a wet dog. Oh, and leather. I see a woman, blonde, vibrant, oh. wanting. I feel there is some mm. connection between them. In the past, mm. yes, in the past. Oh. Oh, but he's a very oh, passionate young oh, man. Oh, oh, he's creative. Bye. And he's very oh. good with his hands. Oh. 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 The power is spent. Oh. It's waning. Oh. I'm losing my vibration. His train. <sighs> Feel exhausted. The spirits were lively tonight. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in 1824, Lord Byron's embalmed body was brought back from Missolonghi in Greece and buried here, underneath the stones on which I stand, in the family vault, next to his mother and other relatives. The pilgrim of eternity finally came home to seek everlasting peace here in his native land. Sadly, that almost concludes this evening's romp with our passionate poet. Save for one final and intriguing chapter. In 1938, 
114 years after Lord Byron was laid to rest, one of my predecessors gained permission to secretly open the vault to establish whether Byron's body was in fact really here. With your permission, I should like to quote from an eyewitness who gazed on the face of history and bridged the barriers of time. The date fixed for the opening, arrangements were made to ensure strict privacy. The doors were locked. About half past six, the masons had reached the stage of moving a large slab at the immediate foot of the chancel steps. A miner's lamp had been provided, which was let down into the tomb to test the air. I examined Lord Byron's coffin, which looked quite solid, and with a slight pressure was able to lift the lid. Inside there was a lead shell, which through interference already had a tear at the head. We turned back the lid of the shell and found inside another wooden lid. After raising this, we were able to see Lord Byron's body, which was in an excellent state of preservation. No decomposition had taken place, and the head, the torso, the limbs were quite solid. The hair on his head, his body, his limbs was intact, though grey. His sexual organs showed quite abnormal development. We subsequently photographed the coffin and we finally left the church in the early hours of the morning. We did not photograph the body. That was absolutely fascinating. So marvelous the way you created that wonderful atmosphere. Oh, I was there. Mm. Oh, it was spellbinding. So evocative, mm. don't you think? Oh, do you know, darling, you really should have been an actor. Oh, well, the roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I get that every Sunday in church. Uh, are, are you baroness or, or just... Uh... Oh, no, no, not really. In fact, we only came across him very recently. It is gratifying that someone at least enjoys a little bit of history. Oh, yes. Absolutely. It really is so very difficult these days to interest people with this sort of thing, you know, dead poets and the like. Well, it's the wretched television. It's killed absolutely everything. It's bloody appalling. Oh, oh I'm terribly sorry. Oh, yes, yes we, 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 we'd like a lot more visitors to the church. You know, building of this age requires so much upkeep, the roof and the foundations, you know. Foundation? Oh, oh it's all so, so expensive. Yes, we really should make more of our star attraction here. I wonder what his lordship's answer would be. Well, we really must toddle, darling. <laughs> Meeting you has been an absolute joy. Yes, well... I... Coming here has been a revelation. Being so close to Byron has opened up a whole new... A whole new dimension, a whole new area. Oh, so close. But if there's anything we can do, please, please let us know. We're not far. And honestly, we'd be only too delighted. That is awfully kind of you, You but... have such a beautiful church. For the church fans, right. please no, take no, it. No, take no, it. you need it. It's really not necessary to... Oh, that's very right. You must come again very soon. I'd be awfully pleased. And maybe you we could... Will. You, oh, we will. We will. We will. Charm. Charm, Oh, Charm. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Charm. I'm sorry, fine. It was a full call, my brother. What's your position, brother? Excuse me, are you available? We haven't far to go. Yeah, I know the feeling, love. Sure. 
If I'm not in the pub by 10, phone 999 and ask for the Twilight Zone. Goodbye. been doing this long? Driving? Nah. The pit's packed up. So you gonna do some up? It really must be awful. Aye, well, you get out and meet all kinds of folk, you know what I mean? Quite. Absolutely. I got the lug and you got the key. Put it in and turn it for me. Come on if you're coming. Yes, come on if you're coming. Bloody hell. You didn't get this lot off the council, did you? Bloody. Would you like to come in? For a, for a drink. Oh, that would be very nice. Sure. You should know, love. No, the drill. Yeah, I've got the papers in here. I'll catch you later. Well, I think that's covered pretty well everything. There you are, you see, even a lovely view of the church. So if you think it's what you're looking for, I can tell you it's available now. Uh, so what shall we say then? Perfect. Finally, police believe there is still cause for concern over the whereabouts of missing person Fred Nicolides, who was last sighted over a month ago in the Hucknall area. His burnt-out taxi was recently found at Lord Byron's ancestral home, Newstead Abbey. Anyone with sightings of the ex-minor should contact the local police. And now, Blue Job. I remember, Jack and me were pissed as assholes. Mm. Bloody legless we were. We couldn't even remember where the digs were, let alone find them. 
Anyway, it was about four o'clock in the morning. We were just going up old Mrs. Barker's entry. Bloody dustbins flying round. Hell of a lot of noise going on. Oh, trash. I can't eat all this. It's too much. Of it. Do you fancy some? Look at it. Choke a bloody donkey, that would eh? Well, come on, lad. Work to do. So Jack puked up all his Chinese takeaway with that all over the place. Christ, you should have seen the mess. Anyway, next morning we find our way through one of old Mrs. Barker's privates as usual. And she comes running in. She says to me, yeah, I just want to know one thing. Who were making all that commotion on my back passage last night? <laughs> Bloody hell, sod this for a game of soldiers. Go on then. I don't think I can get it open or not. So we couldn't get the coffin lid down. So what we'll have to do is lop it off, you see, and hide it up his old uh, kyber. This, of course, won't affect the body or the expression, you see. So she says, well, you do what you've got to do, love. That's all right with me. But before you finally nail him down, will you... Will you let me come in and have a private word with him and pay me last respects? So the undertaker says, I love, I will. So in he goes, he does the business, lops off the old offending member, rams it up the old kyber, and then he calls her back in, you see? So she comes in, she walks over towards Coffin, he's lying there looking all peaceful like, and as she bends over, she can see a little tear coming out the corner of his eye and trickling down his cheek. So she bends over and whispers in his ear, Aye, you bugger. It bloody hurts, don't it? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you that cracked me up. But a good in that. <laughs> all right, Jack, all right, I know. But there's no tear, mate, I'm telling you. It's a wild goose chase. Anyway, if that Fred, whatever his name's got any sense, he'll be shacked up with them two toffee-nosed birds he were kicking around with. Well, I don't know what it's in aid of, mate. Your guess is as good as mine, all right? Come on, let's get out of here. I'm pissed off with this yeah, lot.
sexual organ showed quite remarkable development. We subsequently photographed the coffin. We did not photograph the body. Thank you for your attendance. That concludes my little story of Lord Byron. of the band.